What's up? It's Nick. Uh, I'm going to talk about how to make chords on the kalimba. You might know a little bit about this right now, but you know, for your second layer, you might not know how to use that and how it all works together with chords and things like that. So just to review, one is the note C. So whether that's like a one dot or a one double dot, it's they're both C. So you can have uh, different octaves of the same note. So this would be like that's a one, and this would be a one dot. This would be a one with two dots. I don't have a kalimba with me, but you know what I mean. So one is C, two is D, three E, and we keep going like this. That's supposed to be a G. Sorry, six. Oh my gosh screwing everything up. Six is A, seven is B. Okay, so you should kind of know that, or maybe already. Now we're worried about how to make chords. Um, so right off the bat, let me do some simple chords. The C chord is one, three, five, and you could do them in any order. You could do three, five, one. You could do one, five, three. They're all a C chord, and they all sound really nice. These are called different inversions. So it's all going to be a C chord as long as you use those. So C major, um, or F major is going to be 1, 4, 6, or it could be 4, 6, 1, or it could be 6, 1, 4. Mess around with those inversions however you want. And then G, we have 2, 5, 7 or five, seven, two, or um, two, seven, five, I mean, however you wanna do it. Okay, so these are all major. These are all uh, the major chords that um, are just on the bottom row. So we don't need any other ones. So it's a little bit confusing to kind of understand how this stuff works on kalimba because it's not laid out as easily, maybe on some other instruments, so you're just gonna have to trust me on this one, how it works. Okay, so those are the, uh, the major ones. Um, we can have D minor. D minor is two, four, six, or four, six, two. Okay, you already know all the inversion stuff. I'm not gonna keep going on with the inversion. You can make out whatever inversion you want. Okay, and you notice I put a little M right here. So the little M means that it's minor. If you don't have a little M, it's implied that it's major. So this is a C major chord, this is an F major, this is a G major. So this is D minor, this is E minor, we're gonna have three, five, seven, and then we do have an A minor also, and that's gonna be six, one, three. Again, in whatever inversion you want, all of that's good. Okay, let's talk about using those um, tines on the top layer now. So I'm just gonna sort of list off some chords. We don't really need to go into the, the theory really heavy with it, because it is a little bit confusing. So again, just take my word for what some of these chords are. We got C major, one through five, F major, one, four, six, G major, D minor, E minor, E minor. All right, we are going to try and do a, um, C minor. So these are the ones that you can use all on just the lower times, the main level. Now C minor is gonna be one, two sharp, five. So what's the difference between C major and C minor? It's only the middle note. It's only one note and that completely changes the sound. One, two sharp, and five. Now, um, you might not have a two sharp, like this literal two sharp. So you might have to do an octave above to get a two sharp on all of that. This is the, the note is a D sharp. Remember, two is D, D sharp. So C, D sharp, and a G, that's a C minor. Like I said, you might not have a sharp two, so you bring everything up an octave so you can get that in there. Let's look at some other ones. Let's look at F minor. So we're just finding like the minor versions of the major, and we're gonna find the major versions of the minor. 
So F minor is going to be, I'm going to write this a little bit differently because I'm kind of confused. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just going to have it. Three, this is fair. Yes. Okay. Uh, we have a four, a five sharp, and a one. If you don't have an actual five sharp, again, you can just bring these all up an octave. And of course, like I've been saying, you can do them in any inversion you want. Um, any octave you want, as long as you have them and play them all together, that'll be good. Um, so the difference between, let me write it like this, so it's a little bit more apparent. The difference between F major and F minor, again, is that middle note. And you might notice it just goes, it goes down one to the sharp note. So three turns into two sharp, six turns into five sharp. And then we're going to have G minor. And G minor, I'm going to of this like this, so it makes a little more sense in my brain. This one is going to be five, six sharp, and two. Let me double check that. Yes. And again, if you don't have a six sharp, you can bring them all up an octave. Okay? So, that is a little bit more on how to get some more chords, get those higher tines. Um, and then maybe next time, we'll end up talking about how to turn these into major. You might be able to figure it out. You can tell when you go from major to minor, the middle note goes down. So you could guess from minor to major, the middle note's gonna go up. So it's gonna be a four sharp, it's gonna be a five sharp, it's gonna be a one sharp. Pretty interesting. All right, hopefully that makes sense. Um, have fun with that. And uh, I will catch you guys next time. See ya.